Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another live market analysis here at Market Minds Mastery. We are ready to start. And uh, yesterday, Euro US dollar entered into this four hour bearish engulfing order block. Now, if you guys are not familiar with order block or with um, how we trade here on Market Minds Mastery, uh, we are we are writing a very very informative course, and we will record it soon, and we will put it on our website so you can uh, download it, you can access it, or you can watch it directly from our website and we will explain you exactly what we are looking for how to trade and all this stuff okay but for the time being um, this is the author block we were first interested into it also there is another one area here and the ultimate uh, it's the top here but we take case by case and the price yesterday on the lower time frame reacted from this order block it gave some good opportunities to the downside now a cautious approach it's pretty much to trade um, until this gap gets filled but again because um, we are we potentially trade with a daily and weekly bearish move this is more prominent to continue lowering now after this uh, occurred it left behind this area of the gap where i point and if the price will fail to create a new low today it will move upwards and mitigate this area here okay let's see it on the lower time frame on the hourly chart is this area where this low and this high meet each other so let's see what's going to happen but again if the price keeps lowering we definitely going to see at least a retest of this uh, weekly low in my opinion next one that's the four hour time frame on the australian dollar against the us dollar this one here so um no trades initiated uh, on this currency pair because the order block we were interested in was up here the price test this low here it's not even that that low and it rejected so it wasn't a trade that we were planning to get involved so at this point here the price uh, definitely we see that it's retested these uh, lows at this point but as per our analysis we have this bullish engulfing order block uh, down here and the market now is creating a significant bottom that if the price will penetrate that and enter this area just above the weekly low 0 0.64775 on the lower time frames maybe we will identify some bullish divergences like the 15 minutes the hourly chart and we're gonna uh, of course accompanying with the appropriate reversal price action we might gonna be interested to pick up some trades from here so keep this in mind guys that's the s1 support at zero point just above 0 0.65 and we have the weekly low about 20 pips under it so and there is a bullish engulfing order block printed here so please keep that in mind it's gonna may create good opportunities uh, another good opportunity from yesterday it was a couple of hours after we ended our live market analysis 
It was a four hour bearish engulfing order block created on the pound US dollar. Resistance here, the market created an impulse move to the downside. A little bit of consolidation here, some battle between buyers and sellers during the Tokyo session. The price during the London session entered into this order block on the hourly time frame. It left behind this, after this bullish engulfing candle, it left behind this shooting star up here. Uh, with a bearish close the candle afterwards it created a swing high and for traders they trade on the hourly time frame they could have definitely enter short from here or even if you uh, scroll down on the lower time frame here it was the swing low it created a move above this high so we have this new market structure that was the swing high that was the swing low and the price penetrated here with this formation it might um, help some traders they were looking to trade short for here but for me it was easier to see it on the hourly time frame okay so and it's nothing wrong to switch between a few time frames just to identify some some clarity in the market next one gold on the four hour chart we explain about this consolidation here the market uh, pushed to the upside then it moved lower let's see if this is going to be the beginning of an impulsive upward move this upward trend line it still uh, holds let's see what's going to happen uh, uh, maybe neutral trading this one to be honest at the, for the time being next one us oil or wti on the daily chart i explain and i also uh, share a couple of ideas here on the trading view platforms if you guys are following me on the trading view you will have seen that one uh, beside the bullish and golf the the head and shoulder reversal pattern we identify on the four hour charts so let me show you on the four hour chart it was something like this one here price moved up and it created this pattern and the pattern failed but again the resistance hold push the price below let's see if the price is going to break the s1 weekly low and if it's going to break the s1 weekly low there is a strong bullish engulfing order block here guys that we expect the price to uh, tap into it and also there is the gap here and i always teach to everyone when you see gaps above an order block it's a very very strong indication that if the market enters the gap even if it consolidates for a bit and then enters afterwards enters the order block it might gonna create a um, solid opportunities okay so let's keep an eye on that one now it approaches at these lows here and and guys again in trading patience is the key and um, i think good examples were this one here that we didn't pick up any trades from this low but we were looking to go short from these order blocks here on the euro us dollar and on the great british pound us dollar next one uh usdjpy the price also entered into this uh, all-time high that we took it from the monthly chart that's the four hour time frame if we scroll down on the hourly time frame we see that the price rejected at this point now the market structure it will go on the 15 minute time frame here is the low and here is the high so that's the sl and that's the sh for swing low and swing high the market still traded within the swing high and swing low so there is no change of structure or change of character there is no trend reversal yet so everything that happens here is not at any help for us okay what we want to see the price to move under this low here or the price to move above this high that's the 
only criteria we need to confirm if there is a change of uh, market direction or market structure, change of character, however you call it. In technical analysis, we call it trend reversal. Okay. On the four hour uh, time frame, so this is the picture we have. Also, the RSI, sorry, the MACD, the MACD printed negative divergences, and we call it B class because the price makes equals high and the indicator makes lower highs. That's why it's a B class. If the price were making higher highs and the indicators lower highs, it will have been A class. Okay. Keep also that in mind. Next one, let's check the Bitcoin uh, around this 70,000 mark lots so far. And the price, what I like here, and I explained you in previous videos that the market was trading within the symmetrical triangle. It broke to the upside with significant volume. We see the bullish candle, the yellow candle, and it left behind this unmitigated area. So there is an order block here, OB. Mark it, please, on your chart. And now the price is kind of making a support zone. So if the price penetrates through the support and declines, move lower and comes here around the 66,600, we might gonna see, we're going to go down to the lower time frames, 15 minute chart, hourly chart, and find out what sort of information we can extra extract from the price action. Okay, that will be a good trading plan as well. Guys, for those who are new on our channel, um, please uh, feel free to visit our website at Market Minds Mastery. If you are looking, you can download our free ebook. Also, you can uh, book any uh, free introductory coaching sessions if you are interested to elevate it, your trading a bit more. Or if you have any questions, just simply let us know and definitely. Feel free to follow us on social media. We post content regularly and you want to be informed with the market. Next one, uh, S&P 500. This four hour gap area that we uh, commented from yesterday, it looks like attracts, it still attracts the price. As you all see, there is a bullish short-term block here kick this impulse move to the upside to make the old new all-time high price is retra retraced back to this uh, gap area let's see if it's going to make it all the way down to this s1 support but for me the area of interest will be primarily this order block here and then i will go down to the lower time frame if prices enter here to look for more specific a price action reversal um, bullish reversal divergences and also anything from the candlesticks that can be um, valuable for this one DAX uh, I said it's been a while that I said guys I'm not that interested with the DAX anymore I I just like want to see some kind of retracements um, so far it makes higher highs and higher lows at this point here we don't know if it's going to make another higher high but as per uh, my analysis and that i post also it i go based with round numbers now gradually so if you are keep buying the dax uh, i expect the resistance are to to be around 18600 round nasdaq and uh, the last one i think it's nasdaq for today so pretty much similar with the s p 500 the price is trading within this consolidation and it's and it's significant because uh, up here there are many buy stop orders to be executed there are also some uh, limit orders from the people who went short in other words stop losses there are um, 
buy stop orders as well so there is a lot of liquidity up here there is a lot of liquidity down there and there is an order block sitting and waiting uh, for the market maybe to be triggered so let's see what's going to happen with this one so far i'm on the sidelines i'm more interested for today on the euro us dollar australian dollar us dollar and the great british pound us dollar guys uh, from Mar from mark and minds mastery that's all for today i would like to thank everyone for being here i hope we add a lot of value in your trading make sure you like and subscribe on our channel if you find this content valuable and we are happy to see you around so happy trading if you have any questions use the contact information from our website to contact us and as usual i wish you the best luck with your trading and i will see you all tomorrow at the same time thank you